Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on three beams. In this problem, we need to find the moment of resistance. Width of the flange is given. Thickness of the flange is given. Width of the rib is given. Effective depth is given. Area of the steel is given. Grade of the steel is given as the Fe415. And grade of concrete is given M15. Using this data, we can find AST. For that, we will get 1256.64 mm square. The first step is to find the depth of the neutral axis. First, we need to assume that the neutral axis lies in the flange. From the IS456 code book, page number 96, we can copy this formula. In both of the denominators, we can eliminate D. And instead of B, we have to apply BF. For the depth of the neutral axis, we will get 84.02 mm. The depth of the flange is 80 mm. So XU is greater than DF. In this case, our assumption is incorrect. The neutral axis falls outside the flange. Then we need to check whether DF upon D does not exceed 0.2. DF upon D does not exceed 0.2, but still we need to follow the class G 2.3. Let us assume that DF upon XU does not exceed 0.43. For FI 415, XU max upon D is 0.48, D is 560. 0.48 into 560, we will get 268.8 mm. Let us keep this way, XU max is greater than XU and XU is greater than DF. We know that the summation of compressive forces is equal to the tensile force. We need to know the formulas of C1, C2 and T, but it is difficult to memorize them. So let us see how to take them from the code book as a shortcut. In this equation, we can eliminate D and we can arrange like this. Instead of B, we have to apply BW. This is C1 and this is T and this is C2. Let us apply C1, C2 and T. After applying all of the values and after simplifying, for XU, we will get 36.08. The depth of the flange is 80. XU should be more than that. Also, for DF upon XU, we will get 2.21, which is more than 0.43. Initially, we assumed that DF upon XU is not greater than 0.43. This assumption is also incorrect. Now, we know that DF upon XU is greater than 0.43. In this case, there will be one change. For C2, there will be a change. Instead of DF, we have to apply YF. The formula for YF is given in page number 97. YF should not be greater than DF. DF is 80. In this formula, we can apply that so that we will get this. Let us apply C1, C2 and T. In this way, for XU, we will get 90.29 mm. We know that DF upon XU should be more than 0 0.43. In this one, we can apply the value of XU so that for YF, we will get this, which is not greater than DF. When DF upon XU exceeds 0 0.43, we need to use the equation in G 2.2.1, that is this one. Here, instead of XU max, we have to apply XU. So we have to apply XU. You can see that I have applied XU. In this one, we can apply all of the values so that we will get this. We can divide this by 10 power 6 so that we will get the value in kilo newton meter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.